Hi, my name is Carl. Thank you so much for tuning in to my video today on the differences between a 1957 to 1959 Chevy vacuum ashtray. Please like and subscribe to my channel as I'm going to be uploading a lot more videos on accessories and 58, 59 Chevys, as well as my junkyard tours. Here we have the three different vacuum ashtrays that Chevrolet offered in 1957 through 1959. You could have also purchased this as an aftermarket accessory uh, through Flame Out. It was the same exact vacuum ashtray you could have gotten for trucks and other automobiles other than Chevrolet, but Chevrolet did put it in their accessory box in the 57 through 59 model years. There is a difference between each three. Um, what I always recommend is when you're working on your car, I use these uh, accessory installation manuals religiously. It gives you a step-by-step -step instruction on how to install the accessory in your car and it also shows each part that the accessory came with. So I'm going to pan around here and I have one of the original boxes which does have a label from Zip Away giving the description of what the vacuum ashtray does and it sold for $7.95. This um, box was from 1958 with the part number that's on it. So here are the three different brackets of the vacuum ashtrays. This being a 1957, as you can see that the bracket bends real close to the lid in the jar. 1958, the bracket has a much bigger space to it. And 1959 has this 45 degree angle to the bracket and how it installs inside the car is different for each year. There are two different vacuum ashtray assemblies that I've noticed, um, especially when you're looking at the accessory manual, this being a 59 and this being a 58. When I zoom in to the assembly, you can see the valve here on the 59 is square. And the valve on a 58, which is here, is round just like that and you can also see where the ash ashes go into the vacuum ashtray the 58 is much more round around the edges and 59 is much more square and how these vacuum ashtrays work is you have a vacuum line that's connect here from the jar that holds the cigarette butts and the ashes that connect connects to the back of the um, vacuum valve assembly you have a knob on the side that when you push it in it sucks the vacuum through and the ashes and the cigarette butts go through that hole right there and into the jar and then you have a vacuum line that connects into this nozzle here that connects to the motor so now I'm going to show you the vacuum ashtray installed on our 58 Chevy and you can see where the placements are The chrome vacuum assembly usually mounts somewhere close to the ashtray. On here it's mounted right here because of the factory air conditioning. And on a 58 it's mounted right there. Um, I have factory air conditioning so it's mounted right in between the, the box and the kick panel uh, piece there. And that's I believe where it's also mounted on the passenger side. Uh, on a 57 and on a 59 it's mounted on the driver's side the jar so you can see the vacuum hose mounting here at the end of the valve and connecting to the top of the jar so that's it on the vacuum ashtrays if you have any questions or comments please go ahead and do so now remember to like and subscribe to my channel as I will be uploading more videos of accessories and parts for 58, 59 Chevys and also my junkyard tours. My next video is going to be on the 1958 Chevy level air suspension, which this car came equipped with, but I'm going to break down all the individual parts 
that the air suspension came with.